up for it. It's Uncle Ben. I'm hanging out with my good friend Andy here, Andy Holt from Bellevue. We are in Swedes Forest. Ha! The original birthplace of First Light Outdoors. And today we're cooking down uh, maple syrup. And we're starting with the sap. As you can kind of see the, the steam rolling off. I'm going to have Big Andy tell you about, you know, kind of the process. We'll get some more footage uh, in, in a little bit here. But Andy, why don't you tell me what we're doing here, buddy? Well, pretty basically, uh, you take a spile or what a lot of people call taps and uh, drill a hole in a, in a tree, some sort of maple, it doesn't have to be sugar maple, there's some other types. We're mainly doing box elder, which is a type of maple. And you drill a hole, tap that spile in, and then you're either hanging a bucket or running a, a hose down to some sort of container. And uh, you don't want to leave it out in the woods for more than maybe two days before you either refrigerate or freeze or boil. And then like us, we have to wait till the weekend to boil, so we take it back out of the fridges take it out of the trees and we boil it down. We're kind of beginners, so we're just using turkey cookers this year, but we're working on plans for bigger cookers next year. We have Big Green. At Big Green, we're going to do this, uh, I think it's going to be an annual event. It should be an annual event. Yep. One of those things that we, we enjoy doing, you know, being outside is, is where we're born and raised. It's the only kind of life that we really know, so uh, thanks for hanging out with us today at First Light Outdoors. Uh, I will get back to you. Brian is the cameraman. You've seen some of Brian's better videos coming up, especially the one with the hatchet and how that needy that is on an elk trip. I promise you we're going to have fun and I promise you people at First Night Outdoors I got some new songs coming so you don't have to listen to the same ones over and over and over again on our videos. We'll talk to you soon. I have a spile or tap here that is a 5 uh, drill bit you need to make the correct hole for this and then also 5 inside diameter hose here it's outside diameter 7 16 so if you're doing it like a bucket like that then you're gonna want to also have your 7 16 uh, drill bit with to make your holes in the bucket lid but we push it on to the end that's kind of like a Christmas tree there I guess to hold your hose securely and it is tough to get them back off of there I like about four or five feet of hose here to go down to a bucket it's gonna be different if you're rigging up long hoses I guess I have the drill here and what I've done with my drill bit is put tape at about two and a quarter inches because I know I want to stop by there. I want to have a little bit of space, kind of a cavity in behind that spile. We'll sit about there, a little bit of space. And I'm by no means an expert on this, but this is what I've figured out so far. Uh, drill at a little bit of an up angle uh, so that it runs down. They say that it doesn't really matter, from the books I've read, it doesn't really matter height at all, just what's convenient for you to be um, unloading containers, say if you have a hanging bucket. Um, and clear it a couple times. And I'm not sure if you can see it yet, but that sawdust is wet coming off of there. Those shavings are wet. And you can see, I'm not even in far enough, and you can see it dripping out of there already. So I'm going to go a little deeper to get to where I want for my spile. And I'm going to take, push it in, and you're not supposed to tap real hard. You don't want to be splitting bark open or anything. So when the hammer starts to bounce back, you're good and you can see. Okay, so basically to wrap up here, we've got our spile punched into the tree. We've got it dripping down here really nicely already. I think it's just starting to get warm enough for we froze up pretty good overnight. Um, it's already starting to collect in our bakery bucket here. So basically what you need for when you're out in the woods tapping these trees, you need the drill with the, uh, for these spiles, a 5 16 inch drill bit. I've got a hammer for tapping the spiles in. You want to be gentle with that. The spile, a little bit of uh, 5 16 inside diameter hose, and some sort of container to collect at the bottom. And we are now collecting sap.
We're back. It's been about maybe three hours. We went out and collected. You'll see some footage on that. Uh, I think we wound up with between 52 and 55 gallons today that we're cooking down, and we have probably an estimated about 15 gallons left. Uh, the rest is all evaporated off. We've still got a few more hours to go here until we're all done with that, uh, but not too long. Uh, but one of the things we do, we pull some out early. I'm going to have uh, Big Andy tell you a little bit more about uh, one of the products we're using off of here. Sure. One of the things we've kind of experimented with and read a little bit about was this is maybe like two thirds of the way to syrup, something like that. It's still warm here, and we've just been uh, pulling it off and drying it up and flipping the jar upside down to help it be sanitary and seal. And I think if you were going to want to uh, store it long term, you would want to actually take it home and process it or just keep it refrigerated for our purposes. And uh, it's going great uh, just to drink it itself warm. I haven't tried it cold yet, but we've also been making a warm brandy out of it, you know, uh, just in, in a coffee cup as we stand here, it's pretty tasty. And uh, hoping to save some of, some of it for later. Yeah, so that's the process. One thing we're gonna do, we'll save a little bit more like that, and we'll cook that all the way down, and hopefully well, we're gonna have enough time We'll have enough daylight today. The wind is kind of a little bit of an attitude. Uh, it's switching on us, which we knew it was going to do. And it's supposed to be some stuff like 35 to 45 miles this afternoon. Hopefully we'll be down. We'll be down to it. And hopefully when we come back and see you folks, we'll be uh, kind of the last leg here. We'll be using the hydrometers and uh, showing you what it's like to finish off the products. And we'll see you in a little while. Welcome back. Well, as we expected, the wind came up and... Uh, kind of made it a little bit tough to cook it all the way down outside. We wanted to do that for you, but uh, we decided we would uh, bring them indoors. Uh, Big Andy took about a gallon and a half home. I brought a gallon and a half home. Uh, what we did was we filtered it out and to try to get as much as what they call the sugar stand, sand or any debris out of there uh, from the cooking process. And now we just have it um, coming up to boil on our stove. So what we're going to do, I'm going to bring this up to a boil, we'll let it cook down as far down as we can, and then we're going to come back uh, to the camera and we're going to use our uh, hydrometer we're going to show you how that works and we're going to try to get this at uh, 218 degrees which would be if we were in Vermont which we're not but if we were in Vermont uh, that would be what you have to have to uh, sell or make it legal syrup in that state so uh, stay tuned uh, we'll be back in a little while okay gang we're back we're going to do our uh, hydrometer test here we've kept kind of collected it all into one pot and put in here about so we're about two and a half inches from the top. Say about there. And what the perfect thing is, is when we drop the hydrometer in here, it should be at 211 on the float. And what this does, let's spill a little bit here. Right there. And there's a red line that tells me I'm right where it's supposed to be. If you can see that, there is where it's floating. And that's what we're after. So what I'm going to do is we're going to um, take this off the boil. We're going to put it into our jars. And we should have syrup. Hey gang, we're back. Like we said, after we took that hydrometer test, what we did was we, uh, we just poured them in, ladled them into our jars, and uh, sealed them up. And we got three pints. Uh, Big Andy just sent the text and um, he got three pints. So we add that up, that's six pints um, or three quarts. So out of 55 gallons of sap, thereabouts, that we started with this morning, when you first saw us with all the cookers, we wound up with three fourths of a gallon of uh, maple syrup today. So um, there's your maple syrup lesson coming from uh, First Light Outdoors. We hope you enjoyed that. Um, we have a lot of things planned uh, this year for First Light Outdoors, a lot of uh, gardening and, and things like that. We hope you'll, uh, you'll check out our website, First Light Outdoors. Um, have a wonderful summer. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.